let's calculate the limit we see on the screen we can see that we have a limit when x approaches to a number of a quotient of polynomials so for calculating this limit first of all we have to try substituting the number the one to see if it gives us a number so substituting the one we would it this would be one cubed minus three times one plus two divided by one cubed minus x minus one square minus one plus one this is the same as one minus three plus two divided by one minus one minus one plus one so one plus two is three minus three is zero in the numerator and on the denominator, 1 minus 1 is 0, minus 1 plus 1 is 0 again. So this is an indetermination. This means that by obtaining 0 divided by 0, we cannot get from it any value for the limit, any number that solves the, this limit. So for calculating this limit we have to try to simplify this fraction of polynomials let's let's go first with the numerator x cubed minus 3x plus 2 using Ruffini's rule this would be the coefficient of the x cube is 1 as there's no x square we have a 0 here minus 3 with the x and independent term is 2 let's try with 1 so 1 times 1 is 1 0 plus 1 is 1 1 times 1 again is 1 minus 3 times 1 is minus 2 minus 2 times 1 is minus 2 and 2 minus 2 is 0 so this polynomial can be expressed as we have to write a minus number before and this would be x minus 1 the root times the quotient left here so this would be x minus 1 times x squared so that's a 1 mi plus x another one minus 2 with no x at all that's the independent term and now let's try to simplify the denominator again using Ruffini trying and trying it with the one let's try the coefficients of the x we would have one for the x cube M minus one for the x square minus a minus one again for the x and plus one of the independent term so this would be 1 times 1 is 1, minus 1 times 1 is 0, 0 ta plus minus 1 is minus 1, ta 1 minus 1 times minus 1 is minus 1 again, so 1 minus 1 is 0. And again, as we did before, we have x minus 1 times the, quo the quotient left there, that is x squared plus 0 times x, there's no x, minus 1, independent term. So let's rewrite this again up here. The numerator is x minus 1 times x squared plus x minus 2. And the denominator would be x minus 1 divided by x squared minus 1. I'm sorry, times. We can cross out both terms, x minus 1 on the numerator and on the denominator. And the limit would be like this. x squared plus x minus 2 divided by x squared minus 1. Let's try again substituting the 1 to see if we have a value that solves the limit. Uh, substituting the 1 we will have 1 squared plus 1 minus 2 divided by 1 squared minus 1. That is equal to 1 plus 1 minus 2 divided by 1 minus 1. Again, 0 divided by 0. An indetermination again. We have to go on simplifying the polynomials. So again, applying Ruffini on the denominator and on the numerator, 
we would have let's rewrite this here then MA1X approaches 0 and calculate down here the simplification for the numerator first let's try with the 1 again let's now with the coefficients 1, 1, minus 2 so 1 times 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 1 times 2 is 2 so minus 2 plus 2 is 0 so x minus 1 which would be a, a root for this polynomial and the, co the quotient left there would be the same as 1x plus 2 so the numerator can be written as x minus 1 times x plus 2 now simplifying the denominator we would have 1 for the x square, 0 for the x and minus 1 for independent term let's try again with the 1 and 1 times 1 is 1 0 plus 1 is 1 1 times 1 is 1 minus 1 plus 1 is 0 so the denominator would be equal to x minus 1 times the quotient left there x plus 1 so let's write it on the limit and we would have on the numerator oh first let me remind you that we can simplify this the denominator by in a much easier way but that's not going with us now so writing the numerator on the on the limit we will have something like this x minus 1 at which we can simplify on both terms, numerator and denominator and now we can see that substituting the one we will obtain the value of the limit so substituting the x by one this would be one plus two divided by one plus one and this is the same as three halves and this is the, the answer for the given limit